Okay, by the way, if you want to see my scientific report. So the aim is to verify that net force in two dimension on an object is in static equilibrium is zero. So the hypothesis is if the angles are correct with the correct mass, then situation will be in equilibrium. Oh, I just spelled that wrong, okay. Equal equilibrium. So materials you will need is one string, wool or nylon, doesn't matter. Two retort stands to hold them up. And 10 grams of weight. And two boss heads, two pulleys, one projector. And also Newton spring scale. So what are the risk assessments? Oops, Let's skip ahead. So what are the risk assessments? Oh, just gonna put it in there just in case. Retort stands good for and hit student in the head. Oh, that's pretty stupid. So don't play around with retort stands. They're really deadly. <laughs> you could potentially trip over and fall in spring strings on the floor. That doesn't do it anything. But anyway, so weights could fall off on student shoes, injure their feet. Well, obviously. Always wear shoes. Method. Gather all material and set up all the equipment in the science lab or at home. Align the two retort stands about 50 centimeters apart from each other. Well, it doesn't matter if it's at least they're apart. Fasten the boss head near the top of the both retort stands. Attach both uh, pulleys onto the boss head. Line the strings through the pulley and then, and then tie a knot to make the circle. Place weights on a string and let it go, let it go. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Once it is in static equilibrium, like stopped, measure the angles. Use the projector, put it, put the center point into, um, like, for example, there's a Y. Like you put it in in the middle point. So like diagram below. Um so you put it here and you measure this angle. Or the what or the way I do it is basically get projector starts zero here and you go here fifty degrees. Oh, that's not okay here and then you go over here which is 130 because if they both side 50 180 minus 100 is 80 and then 80 plus this 50 is 130 so therefore bearing 130 and the obvious is the 10 gram downward force is 270 because it's on the third quadrant So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and like.